Hi guys. In previous videos I was playing around with this wireless charging pad that I got from Poundland and I also bought a wireless charger receiver. That was the one I bought and took it apart so we could see what was inside. It doesn't have that motor on it as standard, that was just something I was trying out and in fact I think I pulled too much current through it and actually damaged the onboard circuitry. Anyway, that is what's inside one of them. And in the video that I did that, somebody asked what's inside the actual charger pad. And I bought that one in case I broke this one when I took it apart. But I've just been fiddling with this and it actually looks like it comes apart quite easily. No screwdriver or anything. Don't know if that's going to come all the way apart. Oh yeah, there we are. So there you are. That's all that's inside the charger. So a coil. That's actually quite thick wire they've used on it. It actually feels quite heavy, so I don't know what that material is. Whether it's, um, oh, I forgot what they call it. The stuff they put in the middle of small transformers. Ferrite. Ferrite is the word I was trying to think of. Yeah, whether they've used ferrite or something to increase the magnetic field. That's just a guess. I mean, it feels like it might be ferrite. Doesn't feel like plastic. So we've got the USB in. I'm not going to try and tell you what all these different bits are. But we've got a couple of chips there few transistors there, capacitors. I'll do a close-up, a uh, macro, so we can have a, a look at it. It's got a bit of that rubbery foam there, sticking this to that. I'm not going to take it off. But clearly there's a bit of circuitry on this side, or tracks anyway. There's no components on that side. They're all on this side. So I'll do a nice close-up of that and you can see it. And then I'll put it back together and I haven't broken it. That's quite pleasing. I thought while I've got the charger out, I'd just show you what it was that started this all off. That's just a bunch of LEDs with a, well, a choke, it actually is, a coil of wire on a um, ferrite core. That's picking up the signal and powering all those LEDs. nearly picking up if I put that one on there is that going to switch into charge mode Sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't. If 
If I plug it into the phone. Are we charging? This one's completely flat again, it doesn't hold any charge. Go for it. Yeah, there we are. Right, that one's now in charging mode. So he's now permanent glow instead of flashing because the flashing is this thing signaling and saying, do you want me to start charging? If it gets the right reading back, it switches into permanent charge mode. If I whip that out the way, yeah, back into flashing mode, put it back again, back into charge mode. If I put that one on there, and put the LED straight across that way, or is it the other way? No, I'm sure it was that way. Oh, there we are. Oh, I just killed my LED. Might have done. Yeah, I think I just burnt out my LED. Oops. I think I did. Put it back. Yeah, I just burnt out my LED. Because that's potentially putting through uh, up to one amp. That's what it says on the back. Output five volts, one amp. Which is more than a LED is expecting 3.2. I would expect. And I'll cut that off. I don't think we can test that now. I have an idea it was dead anyway. Not a good test because we don't know if that one's working or not. Pretty sure I killed that before. Yeah, that one's not working. Okay, so we can't demonstrate with the motor. But if you look back at previous videos, I've done that anyway. But that, yeah, red light's on. Can you see that red light? We can. I just lifted it off. Lost it. There we go. Back on again. That's the light I'm talking about. So, wasn't that fun? Permanent glow. Searching. And one final thing for now. Um, when we took this apart, 
it's got um, a piece of aluminium foil over one side. If we put this on here, this way up, we get nothing. Put it on the other way up. And if we're lucky, yeah. So obviously the aluminium foil um, either magnifies the or focuses the magnetic field one way or prevents it coming through the other way. Yeah, not happening that way up. does work that way up. So that sign has to be facing the charger. Oh, it says it's 94% charged. Mind you, it was 100% charged in the previous video when we'd finished. So that's dropped to 94% just laying on the table not switched on. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.